2018 has been a great year for the fintechs. Today, I want to recap all the major accomplishments of 2018 and what is in future for 2019. Rohit, what were the biggest trends in the fintech industry in 2018? So 2018 was the first year when you know we finally started seeing the interest of banks in the digital space and banks are starting to feel the impact of the disruption that fintechs are bringing in the digital payments, digital lending and also in the overall digital settlement space. 2018 was a dynamic year. What were some of the biggest surprises that you think the financial industry saw out of the fintech space? I would say that financial services has started appreciating the importance of fintech finally in 2018. Till 2016, 2017 while you know there, there was a lot of interest, there was hardly any steps taken by traditional financial institutions to have deep partnerships with fintechs. Other big trend that we are seeing in 2018 is the consolidation has already started and we will see an acceleration of the consolidation so the weaker players are already starting to get bought out, shut down or they're having a very hard time in raising more money while the bigger and the stronger players are having a very easy time either to do more partnerships and we see that you know 2018 was the year where we will start seeing scaled up businesses getting formed in the fintech space. A lot of people have been talking about the challenges that fintechs might face in 2019. What's your view into the way that the fintech industry is going to adapt in 2019? So 2018 has been a very good year for the economy because of the tax cuts and you know macroeconomic conditions. Going into 2019, it doesn't look like as good as a year like 2018 was. So obviously fintechs will have to readjust. So a lot of fintechs who have just raised a lot of money and have not really figured out a business model will get into trouble. The fintechs which have a value proposition or have a business model in place, even if they are losing money, they will be fine. And the fintechs which can deliver a lot of value, not only on the customer acquisition side, but also on the risk management side, will be the priced highest in the market. Because the importance of risk management in 2019 will be pretty high. 2018 is behind us at this point, and 2019 is right on the horizon. What are the fintech developments you're expecting are going to really shape how the year goes? So uh, I think there are three distinct developments that we are seeing. One is a mobile first march, you know, that's continuing, that's accelerating. Second, you know, less importance of branch networks, you know, that's going to happen even at an accelerated pace. And also more convergence between the banks and the fintech firms. For small businesses now, what do you think are some of the trends that they should be on the lookout for? So they also need to get smarter, more nimble, more cost efficient, and also deliver more value to their, their clients and their customers. So I think in 2019 is a year of a lot of opportunity for businesses, but also a lot of challenges which are coming up. What's your prediction for where the banking industry is going in 2019? Banks will have to invest a lot more money in being digital, not at the front end, but also at the back end and also they will need to pay more attention to risk management. So that was my take on 2018. I would love to hear your take on 2018 for the fintechs. What was the best, the worst? Write us a message and I would love to hear back from you.